Hey cinephiles, this is our list of the top 5 films to see at the 2014 Melbourne International Film Festival. Number 5. Electric Boogaloo, The Wild Untold Story of Canon Films. This is the latest documentary by Mark Hartley, the man who previously delivered Not Quite Hollywood and Machete Maidens Unleashed. Electric Boogaloo concludes Hartley's trilogy exploring exploitation cinema, specifically following the account of Manahem Golan and Euron Globus as they pit genre picture house Canon Films on the map. The documentary will have its world premiere at Melbourne. Number 4. It Follows A high school girl's boyfriend is murdered after they have sex for the first time, and she becomes the next in line for the curse. The only way to pass it on is to get it on with someone new. After making waves at this year's Cannes Film Festival, It Follows has a reputation that precedes itself, not just for its intriguing premise, but also for scaring the pants off festival goers. Number 3. R100 a furniture salesman looks to spice up his life by joining an S&M club, where he must remain a member for an entire year. This means at any given moment, a group of dominatrices have the right to beat him up. The film's title is a play on the Japanese rating system, alluding that the film is not suitable for anybody under 100 years old. This batty, dark, satirical comedy comes to us from writer-director Hitoshi Matsumoto, who previously gave us Big Man Japan and Symbol. Number 2. Jaja a father and daughter journey from Denmark to an unknown desert that exists in a realm beyond the confines of civilization. Jaja is the latest film from Argentinian writer-director Lissandro Alonso. It stars Viggo Mortensen, an ever unpredictable actor in his first Danish-speaking role. Jaja was also met with praise at Cannes, where it won an International Federation of Film Critics Prize. Number 1. The Kingdom of Dreams and Madness Next year, Studio Ghibli celebrates its 30th anniversary. The legendary animation house was founded by Hayao Miyazaki, Aisa Takahata, and producer Toshio Suzuki. Miyazaki and Takahata have supposedly made their final films. This documentary offers unprecedented access to see how the studio churned out one masterpiece after another and what its future might be. The Kingdom of Dreams and Madness opened in Japan last year, but this is one of the first opportunities for the rest of the world to see it. Those are our top five films to see at the 2014 Melbourne International Film Festival. Festival. What films are you most excited for? Let us know in the comments below, and keep a tab open on the Movie Clips Indie channel for all your film festival needs. Thanks for watching.